this Thursday I'm teaching a class, an online webinar series called How to Teach Reiki. And the reason why I really was motivated to teach this class is because I remember when I was nervous about jumping from doing sessions to teaching classes. There's a kind of a leap there, if you will. And I remember my very first class I ever taught. It was 11 years ago now. And I did it for a barter for the sweater that I'm still wearing today. Still looks good. I love it. And I thought I completely bombed. I thought that my student left being scared of Reiki, of not going to use Reiki, of just that I had so many doubts in my heart about how that first class went. And it was hard enough for me to put myself out there and make it known that I was teaching Reiki. And I want to let you guys know that it was 10 years later, last year around this time, that I was having a vendor space to do Reiki samplers. And the couple booths down was my Reiki student. She said, I just moved back to town. I wanted to let you know that I am now a Reiki master and Reiki is still part of my life. And thank you for putting me on the right path of my Reiki journey. And I just got teary eyed. I was like, I can't believe that she, I didn't scare her away or I didn't mess up or the attunement didn't work. Like I had all of those doubts that are so common for Reiki masters when they start teaching. And the biggest thing that you have to remember is that your Reiki guides are doing all the work, just like they are in the sessions. The Reiki is going to heal. The Reiki is going to do the attunement. The Reiki is going to show up as it needs to for that person. And so what I'm going to be teaching in this webinar series is how to organize your classes, how to promote your classes, how to talk about the things on your outline, all of those things that we get so nervous about. I want to give you the confidence and the tools and the resources. I'm going to give you my outlines on this class. So there's four classes. The first one is how to teach level one. Then the second one is how to teach level two. The third is how to teach the Reiki master's course. And the fourth is how to teach a Reiki kids class. Here's the key. This class is only for Reiki master teachers. So if you have your certificate, send it to me, register, and then you are going to be feeling so much more confident and comfortable to go out and teach the world Reiki for your community. And that is my biggest hope, that we're all doing more Reiki, all teaching more Reiki, all supporting our communities more. And I want to help you in this way. So I hope to see you on class on Thursday. And please let me know if you have any questions. Take care, everyone.